We have more details now. After several costumes stolen from the festival ballet production of The Nutcracker are now returned. And the story was just breaking on Eyewitness News Live at 5. And tonight we have new reaction from those who put on the show. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is in the capital city tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The show went on despite 52 costumes being stolen, but we were there as some of the members from Festival Ballet Providence learned that some of those costumes have now been returned. For Festival Ballet Providence, it's a Christmas miracle. Most of the costumes are back. So. Artistic director Misha Jurich announced to his dancers, board members and staff that some of the 52 costumes near and dear to his heart were returned. A lot of them I designed myself. Uh, and I love seeing them on stage. But that didn't happen this year, as pieces like this were stolen just weeks before the performances. Festival Ballet Providence relied on seamstresses who donated their time, labor, and materials. And dance companies from Ohio to Alabama also shipped costumes to make sure the show would go on. The whole experience was really heartwarming, having all the costumes donated from countries or companies around the country and around the world was kind of shocking to us. Festival Ballet now is shocked and relieved some of those costumes were returned. It's kind of unfortunate that it happened that they were returned only a couple days after our shows, but I mean, I'm so happy to hear that they're back. George says he's also a little disappointed some of the costumes came back damaged. Pawtucket Police tell Eyewitness News a Providence area attorney said his client turned several costumes over to him to be surrendered to police. Right now, George says he's not sure if he's going to press charges, but he learned the Christmas spirit is still very much alive in the community. There is so much good in people and, and situations like this, you know, everyone's reaction is usually how we can help. It, it's beautiful. George now hopes that the rest of those costumes will be returned. He says he will not be storing them in the same warehouse that he's been keeping these costumes for the last 19 years. And of course, Pawtucket Police are still investigating. If you have any information, give them a call. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.